Hello, welcome back to the channel. And we've got a new brewery to me. Uh, it's a brewery that's been going since 2007, and this is a Quantock, Quantock Brewery in uh, Taunton, Somerset. And this is there. Uh, we're gonna need a bigger boat, New England IPA. And that's uh, quite duty, canal. And uh, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Fantastic name for a beer. I absolutely love that film, Jaws. What a, what a fantastic film. A little bit about the brewery. Um, so let's go all the way down here to the bottom of this page. Uh, just bear with me. Okay, Quantac was, was founded for the love of beer. Back in December 2007, our technical director and co-founder Rob first purchased a homebrew kit from Boots back in the late 70s. Them Boots kits. Extremely disappointed that it didn't produce the quality of beer he desired, I'm not surprised. A former nuclear head engineer, Rob, decided the only thing for it was to build his own kit from scratch in his garage in that, and the rest is history. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's from Somerset. At, at Quantock, we brew beer with passion, creating new beers and continuously improving our brewing process so our quality continues to accelerate. Uh, we're not satisfied, satisfied with OK, we seek amazing. Beer is a wonderful thing. Drinking truly great beer is one of the pleasures that makes you feel glad to be alive. To make great beer that brings some of that life-affirming pleasure to people is what we do at Quantock. So, fantastic. So they say that their brewing is simple. They just want to produce consistently great tasting beers of styles from easy drinking to highly hopped, high strength beers from our from, from our corn rake, sorry, from our core range to our limited edition small batch brews and specials. It's our mission to showcase beer in all its forms, helping people discover new styles and reinvented old favourites. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So it's new to me. Looking forward to it. New, new England IPA. Can't see a ABV. Uh, I don't want to look on the back. I don't want any descriptions. Anyway, let's get into it. Can't see. Cannot see an ABV, which is just crazy. I need to put my glasses on because there's no way I can read any of that. Uh, Six point three percent ABV. So let's get it cracked open. Let's get it in the glass. Get the look, get the aroma, and get the taste. So we'll go about halfway. So it's looking like a New England IPA, 100% it is. Looks really good to be honest. Looks quite opaque, nice white, creamy head has formed in the glass. Like I say, it's got like a golden yellow color, opaque, looks apart, it really, really does. Let's get a swirl in the aroma and let's see. Oh, that smells fantastic. Lots of citrusy lime notes. And again, you've got that passion fruit and mango with citrus and lime. Like a, an overripe mango. Smells fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna need a bigger boat. New England IPA, 6.3%. Cheers, everyone. Wow, what surprised me about that? Oh no, I'm getting the yeast flavor again. I'm getting the yeast flavor, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm gonna pour out some more yeast in this can again. Um, yeah. The carbonation is like a medium carbonation, but it feels quite, you know, uh, effervescent on the tongue, which then just, I'd say the body at first felt like a medium, and it just feels very light in body, and quite an easy drink. Um, when once, you, once, once it's on the palate, it just seems very easy, but I'm getting a yeast taste as well. So just let me, uh, let me get the rest of it in here. Let's see if we've got any. There's definitely a yeast note going on. Yeah, it's got some in there. Getting some floaters. No, it's not ruining the aroma whatsoever. And the very first thing you get is a nice, sweet malt note. And then on top of that, that malt note, I am getting a yeast taste. Like a really 
it's hard to explain the yeast isn't it but you're getting this as you can, you can imagine when you if you bake bread and you have some of the dough when it's still not quite baked it's sort of that sort of taste so you get a yeastiness but underneath that you're definitely getting a, a citrus note and then that sweet malt with that passion fruit note like a tropical fruit note there's no bitterness there whatsoever so it is a new england ipa so really bitterness should be low which it is overall it's quite a pleasant drink i won't mind trying some more it's not the you know that yeast notes just you know could like try more beers from them because that yeast note might be slightly ruining this um beer i think this beer would be better without that yeast note would I buy it again? Yes, I would. 100% I would. Because I just think it's got a lot going on and it's, it's you can tell there's a quality beer there. Um, that yeast, you know, it's just a little tad off-putting. But you, you, you're finding the flavours just underneath it. Let's see what it says on the can. Uh, Quantop Brewery. Ooh, it's quite a tough one. The 10th edition of our New England IPA series is now a multi-award winner, both nationally and internationally, which is truly special. A colossal flavoured New England IPA, this gorgeous aromatic beer erupts with a commanding citrus punch, yeah, an intense body and silken mouthfeel. Now, that's what I was saying. The, the body at first felt medium, then the effervescent, the carbonation just brought it down to be quite a light mouthfeel, um, silky, a degree to a point unique together with immense flavour of tropical fruit, citrus and an, an inkling of melon. I'm definitely, it's definitely a yeasty note but that could be in the can, really hard to see. There's a slight yeastiness for me. Um, 440 mils, oh hops are citra, citra cryo and laurel and talus. That's, a, that's quite interesting. Um, Citra Cryo, so that should be punching, really punching. Uh, follow us on social media, Quantop Brewery, and it just says wheat, water, hops, malted barley, www.quantopbrewery.co.uk, and uh, store cold, which it has been. So there you go, Quantock. That's a good beer. I definitely buy more beers from Quantock after tasting that. I think it's definitely uh, up there as being a, well, Seems to be like a good brewery. Like I said, get need to try some more. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on another one.